<laughs> well, actually, uh, thank you very much for the previous Barbara's uh, presentation. It relate to that. No, <laughs> I didn't know she was going to talk about like that. But then in 2000, uh, September 11th, do you remember what happened? Uh, I was in Manhattan, and I was going to almost go to ground zero. And I thought, oh, I, I still cannot go. Because around that time, uh, uh, I went, you know, I had, I became anorexia. I watched the news over and over and over, and I thought, oh my God, why the world happen like this? How can I help? How can I change the world? Who can change the world? And I thought, it's me. Yeah, it's me. I can change the world from my side, from my point of view. But I thought, hmm. I want to help change the world. I want to save the world. But then, how can I do that? Around that time, I was working for IBM. And I was dealing with the people who are working in New York. That's why, one of the reasons why I thought, oh, how can I do it? Because I was so related to New York, and then I was so related to the people who were living there. But I was wondering, like, how can I do it? So I couldn't think about anything for a couple of years. Then, boom, I bumped into improv. And I thought, oh, my God, the mind of yes and can change the world. So each one of us can think and act in yes and is yes, instead of, like, no but. No but is causing the problem, causing the war. So if you can think in yes and, then the world can be happier and peaceful. So I was in the department of uh, training section. So I was teaching presentation and as a corporate trainer. And I started using improvisation in my workshop. And then people loved it. And I and then they said like yes and works, but they said, well yes and works in between the people who are using yes and or improvisation. If when I go back to the workplace, people are not yes and, so it's kind of awkward. And uh, we get like you know we we like you no know, people get advantage from us saying yes and. And I said, oh, it's not the mind of yes and. If you ye really yes and, then you accept the situation, but then you can change. You can you know, transform into a different. If you are yes man, I if you just say yes, then people will be getting an advantage from you. But then if you yes and, then you can change the situation. So... After I was doing the corporate training, then I got an offer from academia, from a university. I was asked, like, you know, I, do you, would you like to be teaching at a university? And I said, yes, and. <laughs> and then I became a professor of a university, and then I started doing, uh, like, you know, class, like, doing some programs to the university students for a while. And then people loved it. I use it like no improvisation. And then people just love it because when you make a presentation like me now, I made a script. Well, not the script, that's a point. But then I am just dealing with the people who are here who want to listen. So when you make a presentation, you don't make a script, you don't make a scenario. So when I teach presentation, so I told them you don't really have to think about making a scenario but just connect with the uh, audience. And now, like, you know, that's why you have to practice improvisation. So people started like, you know, uh, learning improvisation around my area. And then people started saying, like, why don't you come to my school to be a principal of a high school? We are creating a new high school. 
So this is a home page of my high school, which has just opened in April. And it says the basis of the creating like a school is yes and. It says like the principle of, your, uh, of our high school is based on yes and. So I became, um, I was a corporate trainer and then professor, and now I'm a principal of high school. Well, around the time I was thinking, how can I change the world? I was so struggled. And I was, I felt so helpless and useful, uh, useless. But now I can, you know, I felt, so I feel more powerful I can do to change the world by using applied improvisation. And I became a principal. And now I'm struggled again. I'm dealing with the teachers who are, ah. <laughs> you know, when I did a corporate training, or I mean at the faculty developer, I, te I taught the teachers. And, and then our world now is like from CC to EE. CC is a control and command. So teacher used to be controlling and then commanding, but now teachers' jobs are empowering and energizing from the students, energize the students. But the reality is that teachers are still control and commanding. That my colleagues, not all of them, but my colleagues, two of them actually, tells me, <laughs> you have to be a principal. You should, you should present to look like a, a normal principal. <laughs> normal principal. So I was going like, how can I be a normal principal from being like this? I cannot hide myself. Don't put a ceiling, you know, or don't put myself, don't put me into a box. I am just like I am like this. And then the board member of the high school hired me this way. But the teachers don't like me this way because I don't act like or behave like a principal. So I'm struggled. But now I think struggle, struggling is the chance because I thought, okay, I'm going, I'm, you know, I'm riding a wave. And, and then all of a sudden, like a you know, rock came up and then I was going like, oh my God, what should I do? And then this is the point now that I can change myself into a higher level. So I... I'm not going to change into a normal principal, but I'm going to deal with the teachers why they are saying that. So I have to, my job is now to connect with the teachers. What you, what they want me to be or what they expect me to be. <laughs> like, we have a magazine, like, says yes and, and then we have a training. And then teachers say, like, no, we understand the concept of yes and. But still, they try to control the students. They try to rule the, stu uh, rule the schools because they're scared. They are so scared to be different. They are so scared to be creative. They are so scared to be said by parents, you are not normal. Well, your school is not normal. But what we have to do is like believe in the students because students love the idea of yes and. This is the pamphlet of the, we have a culture festival in September. And students just made this two weeks ago. And I was so happy that the students believe in yes and and the students believe in 
be open, borderless, and then like you know, spontaneous, uh, and then they proactive. So I didn't ask them to create such a you know, posture or anything, but they started creating, and then they started making a like a you know, club, and they started making a plans what they can do. So what I have to do is like dealing with the teachers to get rid of the fears. So in that way, then maybe I can just behave a little formal <laughs> as a principal. Because we, they need a safe place. They need a secure. For the, sti for the students, uh, we have prepared the secure and unsafe place. But for the teachers, um, they couldn't stand it. So they blew up. But now I have to deal with them. And this is a moment that I commit that I'm going to deal with the teachers. <laughs> and, oops. So, have you, can, can anybody read this? No? It says, omoshiroi. Omoshiroi. Omoshiroi says, this means face. This means white. Like this. Omoshiroi. Omoshiroi means interesting or funny or fun. This is coming from the myth. There is a god of the sun. She was just shining the world. But one bully god, like she was so he was so bully, so that she had to hide behind the rock door. And the world became so dark. Ah, my gosh, thank you so much. <laughs> so the, the world became so dark. So the gods, all the gods had to get together and then gather together and then discuss how they can put her back to the world. So what they did was like they decided to have a party. <laughs> they decided to have a party in front of the dog rock door. So she slowly opened the door and then the world became light again. That time, because light put the white to everyone, because, yeah, see, di did you see that light? So, omoshiroi means interesting and fun, and then I think improvisation can put the essence of omoshiroi to make everyone look shiny and fun and interesting. So let's make the world a better place by improvisation. Thank you very much. <laughs>